it straight to the first management on the show. Arichai Magnesita, the company reported a rather weak set of numbers. Realizations were weak. Input costs as well spiked up. Mr. Parmod Sagar, who is a managing director and CEO of the company, joins us on the show. Hi, sir. Good morning and thanks a lot for speaking to us here on CNBC TV 18. Well, uh, things are a little bit tough, but when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So give us a couple of details. Volumes, they have recovered on a quarter to quarter basis. But for the year, what kind of volume growth are you looking at? Point number one. And point number two is on the realizations aspect, it continues to remain under pressure. Have realizations bottomed out? Uh, I think, uh, Nigel, we're looking at pricing from two perspectives. One is input cost and the other is market condition. When we talk about uh, input cost, the raw material pricing, particularly white fused almina, brown fused almina, or at broader sense, all almina-based raw material pricing is going up. It is increasing rapidly. And also the basic raw material is also going up to some extent. Freight still remain volatile and elevated. So we believe because of this, uh, pricing should remain stabilized, but should increase at the same time because this is not a sustainable thing. Mm. We are expecting market to improve with planned new commissioning of plants, brown fees plants, yeah. which GSW, Tata, everybody is talking about, and it should happen in next uh, six months' time or so in two, three places. Got it. All right, sir. So volumes will pick up is what you're telling us. On the raw material side, there is still some challenges. Now, give us yeah. two details. You know, earlier when we spoke, you said that the blended margins should move up to around 14 15%. Do you stick okay. to that guidance? Because in the past quarter, it was a little bit shorter of those levels. It was at around 12.5%. So do you maintain second half of the year, margins will move up and for the year, you'll be at 14 15%? I, I always maintain it should be around 15% and uh, I still maintain that statement. And this year also, our uh, this quarter, it is 14.1. Uh, you can consider, okay, this is a one-time in between, but uh, you know, there was some provision which we took uh, with thinking of the performance, but the performance came better, so we released that. So in okay. a way, I don't see it one time. It is part of the growth story, part of the actual uh, EBITDA. Okay, and what about revenues? They declined at the half-year mark for the year. Can you give some growth? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Because of the pricing got down, the revenue is uh, in term of uh, numbers is looking like it is uh, depressed or came down. But actually, if you see volume, 4.8% growth in volume in this quarter. So as I said, raw material prices are going up. That now we will have a correction in pricing. We'll get price okay. increases and revenue will go up in next quarter and to next quarter. Okay, but we'll talk about more about your operational performance. But as I always ask you, the Dalmia Group has a big stake in the company. Have you heard about them? Do they intend to sell? You know, things are not yet improving, so they also must be wondering what to do. Uh, well, <laughs> what's your view? <laughs> will they potentially sell before the end of this fiscal? And if yes, is the parent entity interested in buying their stake? I, I don't see any um, in near future. I never uh, talked to uh, Mr. Dalmia. So I think uh, they still believe in the growth of the company, uh, but he's the right person to answer this question. Okay, all right. No, please talk to him if you have to. But in case you're not talking about the deal, then you know we would like to know what's the update out there. The acquired assets, since we're talking about Dalmia, you were saying that the Dalmia asset will start growing now, maybe by mid-teens. Has that happened? You know, because it's not grown too much, I think so, point number one. Point number two is the margins of Dalmia asset were relatively lower. Though from the time you have taken it over, you had improved it, I think, to low teens. Uh, what is the guidance on both these two parameters? Growth at you Dalmia know. and margin band. One is now we are looking at the consolidated number. We are not looking at, you know, Dalmia or high tech or ORL. We are looking at consolidated number. We talk about 14, 15% growth in Dalmia plants. Uh, at that point of time, we were looking at a, a robust export, etc., which is not happening because of the geopolitical situation uh, globally. So it has impacted us. But at the same time, we grew exponentially in our business, cement business. We are growing in iron making business through these Dalmia plants and we are still very positive that we will deliver in medium term whatever we are guiding to the market. 
When it comes to profitability, it was uh, less than 7% beta when we took, and we are at 11.4 or 11.5%. And our mission is to still maintain 12 to 13%. And I'm very sure in coming days, we will be able to deliver that as well. On that optimistic note, we'll thank you, Mr. Sagar, for joining in. So we're going to hold you blended margins of 14 to 15%. Volume growth will come about as newly commissioned plants come on stream. And also from the Dalmia Group, you haven't heard about the intention to sell. They're focused on improving the asset. Thanks a lot for joining in. Thank you.